We're going to work on some fractions today. Doug, can you shade some portions of the pictures that I show you? Yes. Okay. Let's look at the first one. Do you see a dog on that paper? How many legs are there? Four. Can you shade all of them? Yes. Nice job. What fraction of the dog did you shade? One whole. Okay. What's another way of saying Four that? Four-fourths. Nice job. Can you shade the whole ant? How many legs did you shade? Six. And how many legs does six, the... Six, six. Six, six of the ant. Okay, we're going to shade one half of a bunch of pictures now. Okay? What's the first thing you're going to shade? The dog. Okay, shade one half of that dog. How many legs did you shade? One half or uh, two fourths. Okay, so you shaded two legs out of four. Mm -hmm. So two fourths is the same as one half. Nice. Work on the ant now. How many legs did you shade? And how many legs does the ant have? Six. So what's another way of saying one half? With the ant, one half, half is three sixths. Nice. Could you try the spider? Yeah. That's one half the spider. What's the fraction? One fourth. I mean, four eighths. Four eighths is four eighths. the same as one, one half. half. Good. All right, try the clock now. Tell me what you shaded. I shaded twelve six six twelfths of the clock. And that's another way of saying what? One half. Nice job. All right, go ahead and shade one fourth. What are you working on first? The dog. Tell me what you shaded. One, uh, one fourth of the dog. Okay, so that's one paw, right? Mm -hmm. Show me the legs of the ant now. You can't do it. You're right. You can't do it. You can't have a fourth of an ant. Okay. Let's try the spider. Can you shade a one-fourth of the spider? Yes. How many legs did you shade of the spider? Two eighths. Two eighths. That's the same as? One-fourth. Nice job. How about the clock? Can you shade one-fourth or one-quarter of the clock? Yes. What's one-fourth of the clock? One-fourth of the clock is one-fourth or twelve, I mean three-twelfths. Nice job. Okay, Doug. Let's find some equivalent fractions. I'll ask you to find a certain picture, and then I want you to tell me what that fraction's equal to. Okay. We have ants here, where it takes six to make a whole thing. Could you please point to three-sixths? Nice. What's another way of saying three-sixths of an ant? One half. Excellent. Could you please point to one third? Nice. What's another way of saying one third using legs? Two six. Excellent job. 
One last one. Could you please point to four sixths? Excellent. What's a fraction that's worth four sixths? Two thirds. Nice job. Okay, we're going to add two fractions. We're going to add one half and one sixth. To get a common denominator, we're going to use the graphic organizer of the ant, which has six legs. Doug, can you find the card that's worth one half? And then the card that's worth one sixth? Great. Now look at the problem that says one half equals. One half of that ant, can you find that card, one half the ant? How many legs are shaded there? Three. Out of a total of what? Six. Okay, so let's rename one half as what fraction? Three six. Good, go ahead and write that in. Okay, now if you look at the other fraction, one sixth, how many legs are shaded? One six. Okay, that didn't even need to be renamed, but we'll keep it as one six to represent one leg. Okay, can you add those two fractions now? Yes. Four six. Okay, so that's a total of how many legs that are shaded? Four. And how many legs does it take to make a whole ant? Six. Nice. So you got four sixths of an ant. Nice job. Okay, Doug, let's try to add one half and one third. This time, I'm giving you both spider cards and ant cards to work with. I want you to add the two fractions, one half and one third. What kind of animal are you going to use to an represent ant. a half? You're going to pick an ant? Why is that? Because the spider doesn't have... You can't break a spider into thirds. Okay, so pick out the two cards you need, one half and one third. Okay, now over, let's rename those fractions. Let's do the math part. So let's rename one half in terms of, of ant legs. Three sixths. Okay, and what about one third? Two sixths. Okay. Can you add those two fractions now and tell me how many legs you'll have? Yes. Five sixths. Good.